So today we are going to make a really fast, delicious enchilada casserole. And I'm shredding a pork roast that I had cooked in the oven. But you don't have to use pork, you use whatever you want. If you want chicken, it, you could buy the rotisserie chicken at the store. You can cook your own chicken and then just um, take all the chicken off the bones. You could use ground beef. You could use um, leftover roast that you had maybe the night before. But I happen to have this in the in the freezer, so I thought, well, I'm just going to make some some enchilada casserole for a fun little side dish for Easter. So I'm going to shred this whole thing, and then I'll show you just how simple this casserole is. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, so I had the pork all shredded up, and I made this not too long ago, but I turned them into enchiladas. But this time, I'm going to do a casserole because um, I have more people to feed, and it would just go further. So, I have a packet of taco seasoning that I'm going to sprinkle on top and mix this up. And like I say, this is such a simple and delicious casserole or enchiladas if you want to do them in the enchiladas. Okay, so I mixed up the taco seasoning and I'm just going to put in some of the green onions. And then I have uh, the diced green Ortega chilies. I'll put that in here. And then I have a, a can of the uh, sliced olives. So I'll put these in here and then we'll mix this all up. Okay, so I'm going to use a... Um, throwaway dish because when you have, you know, uh, a bunch of people over, who wants any more dishes than you need? So for my enchilada sauce, I found this at the store and I used it last time I made the um, uh, enchiladas and it's the red chili enchilada sauce. This is so good. But if you make your own, that's fine. If you want the uh, canned enchilada stuff, that's fine if you want the chili verde. That's fine. Whatever you like. So, I'm going to put a little, a little bit on the bottom. And I bought three of these enchilada packs. So, put that much on the bottom. And then... For the tortillas, I'm using the corn, and I just have the little street ones, just the little ones, but you can use big if you want, whatever you have. And so I'm just going to overlap them like this, because nothing's nicer than biting into nice corn tortillas, because I know that we really like them. So, now on top of this, we're going to add the pork. Okay, so here's this yummy pork. I'm just going to kind of spread it out. And we're going to layer this. So that'll be really, really a nice casserole. So we'll spread this out. I have this little bit left that I used on the bottom, so I'm just going to go around like this on top of this, and then we're going to put cheese. Now, the cheese that I used was the um, sharp cheddar and pepper jack. You can use Monterey if you want, any, any kind of cheese that you like, the fresca, whatever. Uh, anything would be yummy, yummy. So, now we're going to do this. And then we're going to repeat the step again. With the tortillas all on top. And now, some more pork. 
all over just like you did the, the bottom layer. Okay, so now I'm going to pour enchilada sauce all over here. And then we're gonna top it with lots of cheese. And I'm baking this um, at 350 for about 30 minutes in, until you hear, you know, all the bubbling. Then you could just take the foil off and you wanna cover it with foil. And then after you hear it, you know, bubbling, you take the foil off and just let it sit in the oven for about 10 minutes. Make sure all the cheese on the top is all nicely all nicely melted okay so this is all done and this is like i said a side dish for um easter so i'm put foil on it put it in the refrigerator and i'll bake it tomorrow so it's kind of nice to do things you know beforehand so we'll see it tomorrow okay i just took out the uh enchilada casserole and it looks so good so we're gonna cut into it and take a take a peek and it's just such a nice dish it feeds a lot of people and like I said this is gonna be um, a side dish to um, our Easter our Easter dinner so let's see how yummy it looks with all the pork and cheese oh this looks so good Your guests will love this. Your family will love it. You could take it to a potluck, anything. And I hope that you will try this. Well, thanks so much again for coming into my kitchen. And we'll see you next time.